I need to do my watch unboxing. Okay, so I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. and welcome to another video. Today's video is a highly requested one on the scale of all the videos that I actually film. You'll probably notice that I'm not wearing much jewelry, like no necklaces. Literally like I'm wearing one ring and a pair of earrings, which is a lot less than I usually wear when it comes to my habits generally. Also, it looks like I have something weird here, but it's just like pants underneath. Mm, anyway. Hope nobody will judge. Mm, I mean, it's such a good coffee. Today I am presenting you my jewelry collection and this video would normally be awfully long. So I'm going to present like my favorite pieces that I own in the collection and a little bit more than that. I think I will focus mainly on like sort of more precious pieces, but at the same time, I would like to kind of like explain that this is not a full collection because at the moment I have a lot of my pieces with me just because it's fashion week, but normally is the camera crooked. Oh my God. I don't even know what I was filming before. At the moment I have like a few pieces with me just because I am about to drop a lot of pieces off to the Trezor and pick some other pieces for the fashion week etc and I wanted to show you things that I have with me. This video will also include a very special and exciting watch unboxing. I told you about this before but I waited for it for a long time to come so there's gonna be a bit of everything. Should we just start straight away? Let's start with Cartier. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna actually sum it up in kind of like a groups of brands etc. It does get a little bit difficult and it's sort of annoying <laughs> for everybody I think. So I'll just show you kind of as I get on. Now Cartier is probably one of my absolute favorite jewelry brands. I love it. I kind of have a lot of pieces from it and in fact I could probably film a dedicated video just to it. I tend to have a lot of the bracelets from the brand so you will know that I have the classic love bracelet. This was like the first piece of jewelry or second I got from Cartier. I also got at one point the Amulet de Cartier but unfortunately I do not have it anymore. So this is the love bracelet. Obviously it's it comes in kind of two pieces. I don't really tend to wear this one that much anymore or at all just because I find that it's very annoying that when I travel a lot it always beeps at the security and it puts me through the kind of like extra security. So yeah, that's annoying. But normally nowadays the bracelets, two bracelets that I wear all the, all the time are the Pave Love bracelet and the Clash. Cartier bracelet. I love these two together stacked. I just love what they look like and I think, I don't know, like they very much match my style. Don't know what you guys think. Another bracelet that I don't really wear that much anymore but I think I will be wearing a little bit now is my Justin Clou. I love this beauty. Would love to have it one day in full pavé. That would be on such a wish list but I need to <laughs> really work on that one if you know what I mean. When it comes to necklaces, now there's one that you guys always ask me about and it is, I don't know the name <laughs> because I didn't buy this one myself. This was a gift from my boyfriend and it's the one with a beautiful diamond. It's sort of like a floating diamond. I very, very, very often wear it around my neck because I love that it's just so dainty around my neck, a little diamond and I very often pair it with my uh, diamond necklace from Idil, but we will speak about Idil in a second. So we just have to be a little bit patient. I love it. I think it's just such a beautiful necklace and another one that I've never actually done an unboxing for, for several reasons. Mainly the main reason being sort of like, I wasn't sure if it's too flashy, but I will insert maybe a clip when I actually did unbox it. It is the Justin Clou necklace and I really love this necklace. I think it's so beautiful. Okay, it goes like this, I think. So it's obviously the classic Just Clou necklace. Mine has some diamonds in the front, as you will notice. And I really, really, really love it. I love the kind of like a lighter version of it 
just because I think it's not too in your face and it's not too aggressive. I even think lately that I prefer the light Justin Clou bracelet. Maybe that's the reason why I'm not really wearing my Justin Clou bracelet as much as I used to, but yeah. I also have my Clash earrings in my ears right now. I'll come closer so that you can see them better. Really, really love these. These are perhaps one of my favorite hoops or favorite hoops I own. I really, really, really love them. I think they're so gorgeous. And yeah, I just love the Clash collection. And besides the earrings, I also have from Cartier. Mm, where are they? I have my Justin Clou earrings. I prefer my Clash earrings way more than the Justin Clou earrings. These are like full diamond ones, as you'll be able to tell. Can you see? These are like with full diamonds and I, I don't know, I think it really depends how your ear is pierced depending on where they're pointing. I think they're cute, but they're like I prefer Clash way more. When it comes to rings, I have at the moment four Katia rings. One that I wear on my pinky, one that I wear on my ring finger, one that I can wear on my middle finger, which is double Justin Clou. And at the moment I'm not gonna attempt just because after fashion week, I feel quite swollen. So there we go. This is the pinky. It's full pavé love ring. Then we have the ring that I got from my sister for my 30th birthday. I love it very much. I often stack it with Justin Clou full pavé thin ring. And then I have a double Justin Clou ring with the diamond head. So these are my favorite Cartier rings. I think that's it when it comes to Cartier. I have like a never ending wish list. There's so much that I could talk to you about, but you know, let's just do one thing at a time, right? Now, let me talk to you about Edil. Edil is a brand that gets so much attention on my Instagram because, well, okay, I wear it all the time. So it's not going to be that surprising for you. I literally wear it all the time. And I have a lot of pieces from the brand. A lot of pieces from the brand. I'm just trying to dig them all out because they are all over my jewelry box. Now there's a piece that I wore in the New York Fashion Week video, I think, in the first one. And oh my god, how many comments did I get on this necklace? This is a very simple, thin chain. This is the necklace. Can you see it? It's so dainty, so beautiful, very thin. It's the one that I wore with the diamond. I'll insert the clip from the New York Fashion Week video so you guys can see it also better. But I think it's just like a gorgeous coupled with this one. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite jewelry pieces. I'm gonna keep it on because I really, really love it so much. It's from the latest of few products that I got from Edil. I also got a very exciting ear cuff that I'm gonna attach now. Now, one thing that I really love about Edil, besides obviously the beautiful design, is that you can like mix and match their jewelry. It's like the diamonds are gorgeous, they're ethical diamonds, the materials are precious, I love how it's done and I love to mix and match the pieces. Now, a piece that you will for sure know I wear all the time it goes on my other ear here and it's the chain, the Apollo chain. Now, when I say you can mix and match them, I've spoken about this many, many times, so I don't want to be too repetitive, but I will show you how many add-ons I have from Edel earrings. So first of all, I have a lot of studs, the diamond studs that you also always ask me about, that look something like this. But I then add these gorgeous bottom bits. I've spoken about it many times, like I said, but right now I'm just gonna show you some of the newer pieces that I have because I think that's just so precious. So I'll add on this beauty at the very back. And I want to add, I have another cuff and this cuff here comes with a chain. Can you see it? So there's a chain and there's a cuff so that you can cuff it and then like link it with another earring. I think that's really beautiful as well. I, I just love like when the, their diamonds are so sparkly, like I said, ethically made. And obviously what's very important is that they sparkle, they look gorgeous. And I promise you the amount of questions, I promise you the amount of questions I get from pieces from Edil, it's unheard of. Can you see? So now I put on these two earrings here. They will be linked below. I will also insert if I have like a special code for you. And there is a cuff at the back. And this just makes the ear party so fun. Can we agree on that? 
love it really 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 love it deal i think the brand is just incredible like i said it gives a lot of attention and it's always very much the cool girl aesthetic quality over everything and anything else now i also have like i will also link every single add-on that i have from idil and the one item if you can buy like three products from idil my favorites are the simple chain that i'm wearing right now the cuff the free cuff like that kind of you just attach anywhere you'd like and the Apollo chain that can connect two earrings but if you don't let's say you don't have like few piercings and you have just one then just get this one over here because I think it adds so much light to the ear and I really 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 love it so that's my really warm recommendation I will link all the products from Idil below you have to check them out I think that like you will see me wear them throughout the Paris Fashion Week as well so I know they'll be so 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 many questions now let's move on next one of my faves it's Ole Lingard I wear this brand a lot and the most recognizable will be my elephant pendant now this is Ole Lingard chain and an Ole Lingard elephant and I really love this elephant it just makes me happy I think it brings me luck it's like it's such a special piece because the elephant looks so real and it has even out of his trunk there's like water coming which are the diamonds I worn it million times so we'll insert some pictures for you guys to see and I just love how Alangad has these like nature inspired kind of pieces if I can say so I have a snake ring which is with malachite I think this is so gorgeous can we agree how gorgeous this is it's very eye-catching very cool and just enough to be like you know worn by itself but also I really love malachite it's such a special special ring but I also have one more ring this one was specially gifted to me by the designer Charlotte and it's from the boho collection now I love the colorful stones as you guys know and if you come very close you will see there's the angel hair like what's it in the yellow stone can you see it's so special and so beautiful and I always wear it on my index finger because then I feel like the outfit is done consider it done I also have an earring which is a mono earring it's a snake with a hanging a malachite now the malachite pendant can be removed I don't know if you can see it and you can just wear the snake or you can wear it with the malachite pendant that's one thing about all the lingard pieces I will also link them below they are like always interchangeable always fun precious beautiful but the product that you probably asked me the most about it's from the shooting star collection and I would love to actually get a few more pieces from the shooting star collection because they're so gorgeous now we have this little tiny constellation can you see like three flowers stars however you want to call it I always get a lot of comments from this it also came with like a bigger set that goes underneath that unfortunately I don't have here with me but it's really gorgeous as like one piece kind of to wear and to love I love it just next to me I've got quite a few pieces from Von Cleef and I love the brand I don't think it requires any introduction we all know I love it I have probably the most precious piece is this blue agathe necklace that has many uh, motives i love this color blue it's not i wouldn't say it's my favorite stone just to show it to you better my favorite by far is malachite but malachite is the most sensitive one and as much as i love it i have to tell you honest truth i had to replace all of well not all of my but one side of my bracelet stones because i was wearing it every single day showering with it swimming with it bathing with it so after like six months one of the stones broke and i had to replace them and that's not such a like big deal because it was actually done for quite a small fee because it was relatively new i believe but i'm just a little bit more aware of malachi that's me being honest you know it's it's a very porous and sensitive stone i do however have also a malachite necklace vintage alhambra one i have a carnelian sweet alhambra necklace i love this one maybe even more than the vintage alhambra i i'm kind of now going more towards the more dainty looking pieces i have the matching earrings for this that are actually locked away so yeah <laughs> i'll just have to insert the picture really really love this i got it from my boyfriend i think he loved the 
color of the stone and he said it really matches my skin color beautifully last but definitely not the least is a bracelet that i'm gonna wear in paris from tomorrow i'm talking about gorgeous dark pearl mother of pearl diamonds rose gold bracelet that looks like this i love this i don't think there's anything as beautiful as dark mother of pearl and i think this is so gorgeous and special and i don't really see these around as much which makes them even you know you never get sick of them so makes them a little bit more special i don't know if you guys will agree some people think that's quite an annoying and rude thing to say but it's just my honest opinion okay anyway we're moving swiftly to some of like quirkier and cooler brands if i may say so i'm just trying to put them all together in the right order now i have two necklaces from or pendants and necklaces from chrome hearts i love chrome hearts <laughs> i got the bug from my boyfriend and i have two pendants one is the this kind of like uh what do you call it can you see it's like an evil eye hand from chrome hearts in a full gold it's really beautiful let me try and present it to you better this is the back and this is the front this is like gorgeous gorgeous pendant i also have a golden cross with diamonds from the brand here we go now i really love chrome hearts i think it's so beautiful my boyfriend has the most special chrome hearts pendant which is basically like with the green stones very rare very very rare uh piece that i love anyway Oh, I forgot to show you my Chomet pieces. Chomet is one of my absolute, absolute, absolute favorite jewelry brands. I love their Be My Love collection more than anything else. And I have two stacking bracelets from Be My Love. This is what they look like. I love them. I would love to have another one with diamonds because I think the stack is so gorgeous, so dainty. This for me is like true luxury French brand, like something that actually has a lot of heritage, a lot of like savoir faire, the way it's made made is so perfect i also have a very beautiful dainty ring from be my love collection and i have a yellow gold one as well with full diamonds or i had but i'll insert the picture so you guys can understand what i'm talking about and from shome something that you always 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 ask me about is this turquoise cross mono earring can you see it hopefully it has a little diamond in the middle it's turquoise it really pops on my skin color you'll have to excuse my manicure that i'm about to change in two days time or in one day time actually and i cannot wait but this is so gorgeous i really love it and whenever i wear it it gets so much attention it's crazy now i have a lot of well a lot of earrings from maria tash I've spoken about them many times before. One of the most famous ones is the date piercing that I have inside of the ear there. I have a few earrings for that one. The other one that I have is a little bit more, I don't know what to call it. Like there's a little bit more detailing to it and honestly i love it but i just got a little bit sick of it so i changed it for something a little bit more simple i have a lot of pieces from maria tash and they're mainly like simple hoops or like simple kind of like uh relatively simple simple pieces let's just leave it at that i have one jackie h cross earring that i also tend to wear a lot and lot and you guys love it because i usually wear it in the last piercing on my left ear and this always like dangles so cute also i love jackie Ish for her gorgeous design then from Riposi, a ring that i got from my boyfriend for my sometime birthday is this one i wear this ring a lot because i think it's very special i don't see many people owning this ring i, I love how shiny the diamonds are it's rose gold it's beautiful at the back it's kind of like connected like this and i have a bracelet from Riposi 2 with full diamond ring kind of circle very 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 cute especially beautiful when stacked with my van cleef bracelets now i still have more to talk you through <laughs> i hope that's okay i'm gonna talk to you about anita cole it's a brand that i love anita is incredible her design is incredible i wish i could buy everything but it's impossible and the piece that you guys will know me for the most are these safety pin earrings now i have them in 
green rose gold and white gold fully with diamonds i wear them a lot because that's what you need to do when you have many piercings you know what i mean and i think they're such a cool aesthetic kind of piece now i have something else from anita Co. unfortunately i don't wear these almost at all i don't know why i've been i wanted them for such a long time then i finally got them and then i don't know but it's this kind of like colorful stone chain that connects two different um piercings can you see i don't know i think i have to show you this when it's on because otherwise it's very difficult to explain oh i have like four anita co earrings and out of the four that i have this is the one that i wear the least the all the anita co pieces that i have are mono pieces so which means that they don't come in pairs obviously i guess the word explains it no but just in case not so let's see if you can see this it's very very cool i just don't wear it a lot the third piece that i wear more would be this one i photographed it a lot actually it kind of looks like back in the day belly button piercings i say back in the day because our belly button piercing still a thing i don't know do i have an empty hole here so i can show you what this one looks like on this looks especially nice with edil pieces because they all shine so beautifully but i literally am worried that I have so many earrings, maybe I need more piercings, I don't know. Anyway, you see what I mean goes so well with the ideal pieces because it's just like a vibe. That's it. Now, that's it from Anita Co. Now I think I'm going to, oh yeah, I have one more thing that I would like to show you. This is a bracelet from Ashaha jewelry brand that I really love. I only got introduced to the brand this July, but they have so many gorgeous pieces. I don't know if you can see it well here and i really really love it because i think it's very young very cool very precious but wearable on daily basis oh and i forgot i don't know how i could forget my boyfriend would be very upset my promise ring which is basically the only ring i wear all the freaking time i love it it's part of me i almost forget it because it's always on my hand i, I love nothing more than having a fresh manicure and then putting rings on my hands and just looking at them and being so happy about it but honestly like i ate sushi last night and i didn't really drink a lot this week so i'm feeling very swollen like also my fingers but i'm having tonight a massage because my boyfriend forced me he was like you need to relax you need to have a good time you need to breathe you need to book a massage now so i booked a massage for tonight and hopefully it will get better for paris for tomorrow now before we proceed i would like to show you actually a watch which is another special piece that I have. This one is a Bulgari Serpenti watch with a diamond bezel and a black dial. Uh, this is like a jewelry watch for me. I don't actually wear this as an everyday watch, only for like when I'm wearing a very, very elegant dresses because the watch, my daily watch, <laughs> that I cannot wait to show you, that is always on my wrist, is a little bit more like manly, I could say, I suppose. And um, yeah, it's just a little bit different vibe, but I I really really love the serpenti watch as a piece of jewelry my boyfriend was like he was like oh my god you need that watch it's so cool it's so classy it's so chic it's like a bracelet you know it's like a bracelet that tells time so yeah i think it's really beautiful now let's talk about a little bit more affordable jewelry because i know you guys want to see it and i have a lot of favorites that are also in a non gold but still very precious category because they're made of the finest materials i would never recommend you something that i think is not good enough and i think you guys have witnessed that already right i think there are like three brands two three brands that i have the most of misoma i have monica vinader but i think i already packed it like my favorite green hoops they're somewhere here i have some Saint Laurent Chanel Gucci and one of my absolute faves Fry Powers. I have so much of Fry Powers that I would want to show you all of them but honestly it will take a whole dedicated video so I will link them below you can check them out. These rings they come in every single color you can imagine and they're stackable they're gorgeous and they also come in hoops and in cuffs. Let's see if I can add this cuff to my pre-applied ideal cuff. 
It's like an orange cuff on top of my ear. I don't know, but like focus is messing today for some reason. It's, you know, Mercury retrograde and honestly, I can do nothing to fight it. But my colorful hoops are really something I love. I will link them below because they do sell on like Netaporte and such websites where they're like so easy to get so you can check them out. They're the micro hoops and for me micro hoops are my favorite 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 things because you cannot get micro hoops in every brand but you can in Fry Powers and I think this is so gorgeous. I wear them a lot especially the red, the orange, the green. I think I'm, I'm our most worn hoops of all times. The reason why I said Saint Laurent is also one of my favorites is because I have a lot of their like fashion necklaces, including this one, but this is like all collection depending, so it's, it can be quite tough to find online. And I don't want to cause drama by you guys saying like, this is not available. Gucci has and does also incredible, incredible high jewelry. Like honestly, the creativity of that brand is so beyond, but I couldn't be me if I don't show you this one mono earring. It's a fashion jewelry and I don't know how to show you because it has to be properly attached. Can you see? I think this is so cool. Can you think of anything cooler? then this gucci piece this is all you need and if you have short hair also like you know this really really stands out can we agree i think so i think it really stands out so beautiful this piece like will always always remind me of my first ever gucci show that i attended that was a very special very special moment furthermore I will just show you a few of my favorite Misuma pieces because if I show you all of my Misuma pieces, again, it will take forever. But this one that I wore to Alberta Ferretti show is... No, wait, I wore this to... Oh my God, I went to so many shows. I literally would have to now go through all of my content to understand which show I wore this to. How is it possible? Yes, I wore this to Max Mara. I wore this chunky necklace to Max Mara. I will link this below because you guys have to check it out. It's such a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Now, I also love like enamel uh, pieces from Misuma. They're hoops, enamel hoops. Like they're something that I've never seen anywhere else. My probably second most worn, mm, could it be second most worn pair of earrings are these big hoops with colorful stones. Look at this. How beautiful are these hoops? I love them. I will link them below so you guys have to check them out. My most worn hoops from Misoma are these. Uh, you've seen them millions, millions, millions times before. Second most worn also are these. I love them. I wore these also to some fashion show or many. Also Max Mara, I think. I don't know how to show them to you. It's very difficult showing jewelry, by the way. They have these like little kind of droplets on. I also love the latest collection, which is like animal and stone from Misuma. I will put this on because I love it. And you see, this is the beauty of like many different necklaces. You can always stack them around. I will link this. I really like this um, green stone. I think it looks so beautiful. And the Harris Reed collection, which I love. Oh, but also the flat snake. You know what I mean by the flat snake, right? It's this, it's very classic. And it also goes really well with my ideal dainty simple necklace. I think I'm gonna leave this video here because it's very long. And honestly, ah, I need to do my watch unboxing. Okay, so I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. In my Centro Pay vlog, one of my latest Centro Pay vlogs or Instagrams, I posted a few different watches and I asked you guys to, actually, or I commented saying like, I cannot wait to show you which watch I got. Now I bought a watch, even though I work with AP, I spent it like I bought it like full price. I don't want any, any, any confusion about this. I bought this watch with my own money. I waited for it to arrive because it's not like, it's not like AP, just want to like make it very clear. It's not like anybody is getting free watches or is jumping the queue. I waited for this watch. Ever since like this came out, I ordered it and I waited for this watch for months, okay? So it's been like three months that I told you it's coming soon because I thought it's coming soon, but that soon was a little bit longer than I thought. But anyway, 
that's also okay because I'm so happy. The box is very special because it's a special edition. Watch, it's not like an any classic. It is, but it's not. So this is the box, you open it here. And when it opens, there's nothing because it's on my wrist. But for you connoisseurs, you will know because you will read on the back here. And I am wearing it on my wrist every single day because I think it's the most beautiful watch. Now, I got the ceramic watch which is ap carolina bucci one as you can see now this will not show you properly this watch but i will insert the clip of the dial that is so spectacular i literally find myself staring at my wrist all the time it's a lot smaller dial than my other watch my old Ademar piguet royal oak and i wish i could compare the two but this girl she doesn't keep any watches anymore in her house i guess once bitten twice shy this is like the most of the stuff that i've ever had in one place in the last year because it's just going the security guard is like picking it up in 20 minutes so i was like i need to film this video so yeah i love this i think it's a beautiful piece i love that it's not flashy because it's not like a gold watch because i feel like the the environment is such that i'm not sure how i wanted to get a gold watch okay and i really was thinking if I should order a gold watch or a ceramic watch but then I went for a ceramic watch because I wanted something that's very special very cool that not everybody has because there are only 300 pieces in the world of this watch and I also um, wanted something that will not be too flashy especially with my experience you know what I mean so that is what I wanted to reveal this is a 34 millimeter watch it's the smaller watch that I ever worn in my life because I'm used to like 36 38 millimeter dials but I love how gorgeous it looks on my wrist so here it is for all of you that I know there are so many of you waiting for your own royal oak and you can get like frustrated about it trust me it's always worth the wait just wait for it I think that like the times are such that if you have to wait for a luxury watch and that's what's frustrating you it's really the best possible problem to have I get a lot of frustrated comments about handbags such as Hermes or watches and I'm just thinking <sighs> they're way 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 bigger problems and we should just count our blessings that we're able to be in a healthy peaceful situation and that's the most important thing in the world so always look I someone told me the other day and he was a very very wealthy man told me you're not a rich man because you have a lot you're a rich man because you don't expect too much and i kind of like that you know you don't have huge ones so i'll leave you with that guys keep in mind everything is linked below i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in my next one bye guys